So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar, and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Finland have opted for a 4-4-2 formation. Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. There's the whistle. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tries lifting it over. And through to the goalkeeper. Gets it back. He's off on a marauding run, in with the challenge. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. out for a goal kick Kudryashov Chirkov Golovin Chirkov provides an outlet and he's there to cut it out And it's played forward. Kudryashov positions himself well and cuts it out. Finds himself eased off the ball. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Hoists it forward. It's a decent looking cross. That's been one straight back. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Kudryashov drives it forward. He's got out of play. Kudryashov. Chikia goes looking. Russia still without an attempt on target. Beautifully done. It's a brilliant interception. Big chance! Goal! Russia!
Russia are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. Russia draw first blood here. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Golovin. Kirchhoff. And that's sprayed out wide. Oh, sweet feet. out on the left now and he's on a charge that is terrific skill well the scores only one nil but that doesn't tell the full story juba good challenge he just stood firm Chirkov. Russia are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. In comes the cross. Oh, nice touch. Golovin. Oh, what a ball! And they've been caught out here. So who's he picking out? Zhirkov. It's a promising run he's making on the right. And the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But that one still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Russia are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. And the second half gets underway. Russia going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Time to deliver. It's got through. He's tried one. It's a little unfortunate, he had a lot of people worried then. <laughs> 
forward it goes. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Juba. Chirkov. Kudryashov. Russia just about have their noses in front. It is the slenderest of leads. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. So we've reached the hour mark. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, while the temptation's always there, Peter, I think it would be ill-advised of them to try settle for what they've got. Pookie really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Golovin. Kudryashov. Now it's Shirkov. Golovin. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Finish. The odds were against him, little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here? Uh, I doubt this will be the final score, though. Golovin. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Juba. Played out to the right. Gets into some space. In it comes. And a header! got that completely wrong. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Kudryashov plays it forward. Golovin. Aimed in towards the centre. Russia merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. That intervention was very necessary. 
Russia showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Gets wrestled off the ball. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. by a great piece of goalkeeping. Well, I thought a starting position was good and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Hoists it forward. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Now, where's he looking? And helps available out wide. A really good feat. Oh, tries one! Oh, that's a fine save! Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. So here comes the substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Has a goal! And that is the last effort of the game. Well, nobody is totally satisfied, but it was a, a more than decent game, a super watch, and it ends in a draw. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Yeah, this looked the most likely outcome, but we've had a, a good variety in this game, despite it being anticlimactic. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you.